three note for string scales. Like I said before, the point of three note for string scales is to play really fast. Uh, that's basically, they're built to be legato. You know, the opposite of staccato, where staccato is, you know, everything is real sharp and precise, where legato is, you know, everything rings out for the longest possible duration before the next note comes in, to kind of tie them together. So three note for string scales, they're symmetrical scales, they're built, you know, the reason that we learn them is because it really takes advantage of you know, our fingers, that we can really, if we have three per string, you know, we can triplet across every, you know, all six strings. You know, we can just burn through shapes because we're not really adjusting too much, just a constant symmetrical shape. It's very easy to understand for the fingers, um, especially for Phrygian and Locrian and metal scenarios. You know, I told you about, you know, it's really about the flavor. You kind of just want to burn through them, get it going real fast. Um, three note for strings are great for this. So let's talk about them. We have symmetrical scales, okay? So the scales are symmetrical. So because they're symmetrical, and we have to find three notes from any tonic, right, from any beginning point, we're going to have seven shapes instead of five. Because you have to, I mean, you have to find three. For every spot, there's got to be three. And you have to be able to cover the whole neck. And the goal is to see, just like we talked about before, to see the whole neck in one scale, in one shape. So extending it to three patterns, or three notes per string in seven patterns, is going to give you the glimpse of the whole neck in one specific key. Now obviously, if we start our three note per string scale on one, like if we're in the key of G, and we do our first one, you know, that's our first pattern, and then we started on our second one, you say to yourself, oh, well, that's a Dorian pattern. And you'd be right. Just like we learned all our modes, there are three note per string scales for each of our modes. Now, I haven't supplied all seven shapes for each individual mode, but it's very obvious when to use them and how to use them. I mean, you'll, you can see it loud and clear. So, you know, if you're if you're really getting into the modes, and you especially like I said, Phrygian and Locrian, and you're just burning up these metal tracks, um, you know, spend some time, you know, figuring out, you know, the specific zones for each one of those. But for the sake of this lesson and for the video I want to see you post, we're just going to stick with regular major, um, you know, just our Ionian because it's going to cover all seven modes anyway. All the shapes are going to be the same, and it's just. Nice and, nice and simple, easy to learn, easy to execute. So let's jump right in here. So let's do G. We're going to do G. So we're going to start pattern one again. Seven patterns. And I'm going to put on, no, nah, forget that. I'm just going to show it to you first, and then we'll play a little bit. So here is pattern one. Now again, we're not doing, they're not based specifically on octave shapes. It's just pattern, 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 pattern. So I'm going to start here on the third fret of the sixth string on G. Now I'm going to do a three note from G, from A, from B, from C, from D, from E, from F sharp, and from G. So here we go. So pattern one from G. Pattern two.
pattern seven. I'm going to jump down here. So how do we work on these modes? I'm going to put some distortion on, and I'm going to show you. We're just kind of going to burn through it. So I'm going to do just G major. Same thing I did before, just kind of showing you you know, the way to get different flavors with these three note per string scales playing legato. So when you post a video, I want to see you do the same thing. You don't have to use distortion, and you really don't have to do it fast. I would like to just see you do all seven patterns just like I did. But when you do your improvising part of it, um, have some fun with it. Here we go. That's, you know, uh, that's Phrygian. You know, that's a three note per string scale. I'm playing G major essentially over an e, a really quick E minor thing. And, you know, it sounds a little muddy. You know, I uh, didn't play it perfectly, but it, that, that's what three note per string scales are built for fast, legato playing and visualizing the whole fretboard. So I know I only played for 20 or 30 seconds or something like that. But when you post your video, I want to see you work the whole fretboard, you know, really try to show off, you know, try to get some high votes on the site, try to get people to like your video. Because um, this is the end of diatonic harmony. This is it. You know, we're going to talk a little bit more about some improvising techniques and things of that nature. But right after that, we're jumping right into blues. You know, we're, we're leaving diatonic harmony. So take this opportunity to, you know, really see your whole neck in your diatonic harmony and post a great video. I'm really excited to see him. Good luck.